So we're standing in front of what is left of, of one of our cattle handling facilities here at the University of Kentucky Research and Education Center. Um, the beef unit uh, sustained substantial damage like most of the station. Uh, so this facility behind us is, is, is really a total loss. Uh, we also sustained damage to one of our other cattle handling facilities on the property, uh, as well as uh, we've lost one barn in the storm. We're likely to lose a second uh, just at due to the damage uh, that it sustained in the storm. Uh, we also have uh, pretty significant damage to a third barn uh, that should be able to be repaired uh, with time. We also lost one silo that, that partially collapsed during the, the night of the tornado. There's a, a second silo that will be coming down. And then our third remaining silo actually has our silage in it for this year. And so we've been able to get that silo to be operational so we can feed the, the cattle that are are still here at the station, uh, which is was a huge positive for us uh, in the, the days immediately following the storm to be able to get that silo up and operational uh, and know that we were going to be able to, to feed the cow herd uh, with pretty minimal disruption to, to how we normally operate. Uh, luckily, our, our tractors and, and um, silage wagon were, were not damaged in the storm, so uh, we've been able to, to really jump right back in uh, caring for the animals that are here at the station. Uh, we uh, did have to take off uh, our two-year-olds and their calves as well as our developing heifers. Uh, all of those animals went to uh, university facilities in Woodford County. Uh, just they, Those animals require a little bit higher degree of, of maintenance and, and management for them and so we d made the decision to take them up there for the winter. Uh, so we remaining here at the station have our cow herd and our bulls. Uh, our cow herd is, is 100% fall calving. Uh, so we had actually just bred those, the herd the morning of the storm. Um, so we're still trying to get an idea of the, the full totality of the impacts on our herd in terms of, of numbers. Uh, once we are able to, to preg check the herd in March, we'll, we'll have a little better idea of, of what we're looking at uh, for the, the next year. But uh, we do know that we lost 10 animals in the storm, uh, either uh, immediately in the storm or in the days after uh, due to injuries that, that were sustained. We've lost over nine miles of fencing uh, here at the station. So uh, immediate uh, need is that we're going to have to build that back. Um, but we're really trying to, to be um, thinking about the future. And as we start to build things back, uh, really understanding where we want that fence to go. Uh, you know, just because there was a fence here before, is that really where we wanna build things back? Uh, so every step of the way, all the decisions that we're making at this point is really with the future in mind uh, and trying to, to make sure that whatever we are able to build back, that we build it back better than it was before. Another silver lining for our herd, um, all of our cattle here have um, smart ear tags. So kind of like a fitness tracker uh, that you and I might wear. Our cattle have smart ear tags that record all of their um, body temperature, their activity, uh, how much time they spend eating or laying down or being up and, and active. Uh, and we actually just learned a, a couple days ago that we have all of the data from our cow herd uh, up till the point of impact when the storm came through and actually took out that system. Um, so we uh, feel pretty confident that we're probably the only people in the world that have that animal behavior data on beef cattle uh, leading up to the impact of an EF4 tornado. Uh, we also have a number of weather stations here uh, on the property, and so uh, we can work together, animal scientists and meteorologists, uh, working with the, the weather data and the animal behavior data and p perhaps uh, learn something about uh, how the cattle were, were behaving uh, in the hours leading up to, to when the storm impacted the station. Um, so while our other research might be uh, impacted or delayed because we don't have cattle handling facilities to be able to weigh cattle, um, and like any agricultural research, uh, cattle research is, is very seasonal. So our cows calve once a year, uh, we breed them once a year, we wean them once a year. So if we miss one of those, those times, we're off by a whole year. So while we're, we're still assessing uh, the, the full extent of the damages here and, and figuring out how exactly we're going to rebuild um, 
we're we're moving forward with optimism, knowing that that we are going to rebuild and we will be back, and and we have an opportunity to to make this place even better than it was before, um, and and that's really how we we have to look at things to to keep going and and continue moving forward with with some level of optimism uh, amidst all the chaos around us.